The Energy Conversion Kit allows students to experiment with different forms of energy. Examples are from electrical to mechanical, solar to electrical, and mechanical to electrical. The kit contains a windmill, a solar panel, a motor, an LED lamp, a buzzer, a AA battery holder, a hand generator, six connecting wires, and an activity guide. The only thing you need to include is a pair of AA batteries. The devices can be broken up into two distinct groups. One set provides electricity and the other set can be considered a device or it uses electricity. All of them have very easy to use connection ports to make setting up and rearranging your circuit quick and efficient. There's many different forms of energy conversion that you can do with this kit. The first one I want to show you is the buzzer. So we're converting electrical energy into sound energy. I might hold off on using this one. It is kind of loud and maybe only use it for a teacher led demonstration. Solar power is a great clean way to generate electricity, but a lot of people don't realize exactly how much sunlight you need in order to make these things work. So I'm getting a, a bright lamp and I'm shining it and it's not making the motor go yet. You have to get these quite co close to engage a solar panel. Now the nice thing about this is now you can investigate how far away do you have to be to get this going. You can also investigate the angle of incidence, which is why the angle of a solar panel is so important. The hand generator is one of my personal favorites because it gets kids hands-on involved in doing the experiment. And plus you can look more directly into the flow of current. For example, if the students spin this one way, the blades turn in one direction. If they spin it in the opposite way, because the current's flowing the opposite way, the motor also turns in the opposite direction. The hand generator is also great to use with the LED, because if you tell the students to turn it in one direction, it slowly lights up because it does need a specific voltage before it starts working. But if they spin it in the other direction, you get no reaction at all because the LED has to have the current going in one direction only. So this is a great way to introduce how LEDs function. The Energy Conversion Kit has lots of hands-on ways to actively engage your students in the learning process. The different types of conversions that you can do are electrical to sound energy, mechanical energy, uh, light energy, wind and solar energy, there's lots of different ways students can have something fun to do and still learn at the same time. Also with the hand crank, which creates only DC current, you can have the students investigate more how an LED works, but only when it's going in a certain direction.